Peace, prosperity, and abundance to you all. Welcome back to another video. All people are gifted in one way or the other. There are gifts that are visible and easy to express and recognize, but there are also these subtle, dormant gifts that make us stand out of the crowd and sometimes even feel supernatural and eccentric. Gifts like those are the spiritual ones. And while spirituality is often connected with development and personal growth, that should make us rise above the common problems and issues. Spiritual gifts can sometimes be a tough bite to swallow. If you possess one and want a normal life you need to learn to manage your gift and take control over things. In this video, we will be dealing with people with 10 strange things spiritual gifted people are affected by. Some gifts are not difficult to spot, while some take concentration and some level of focus to activate. Most people with spiritual gifts might not know they have it because of how difficult it might be to discover it. When you consider yourself as a spiritual gifted person, or other people around you have pointed out your gifts you might think you are either blessed or cursed. Probably you don't really recognize your own gifts and see them more as a burden. So far you have only seen them as something that works against you. So, what can you do about this? How can you start to recognize your gifts as a spiritual gifted person? How can you become aware of the things that you see as a burden, accept them, embrace them and live your true purpose? Because remember, light enters where it hurts the most. Coming to the characteristics of a spiritual person, how do you recognize them and what affects a spiritual gifted person? First of all before we dive any further in the topic of being spiritual gifted, I just want to remind you that we are all gifted in some way. Some people are really good at mathematics, languages, teaching, writing, and singing, while others are gifted emotionally or even spiritually. Being a spiritually gifted person means you are much more sensitive than others. This comes with a whole lot of side effects that influence your day-to-day -day life. Side effects that you currently see as a burden or as a curse. Spiritually gifted people or highly sensitive people process information in a much more intense way than others. They are much more aware of their surroundings and absorb things much quicker. Their brain activity is in top gear most of the time. Learning therefore goes much easier for them than their peers. They often get identified as the quick learner or as the intelligent person. But only if it interests them, if it feels right for them and involves independent thinking and creativity. If not, then learning becomes a painful and tedious task. Because of that, they create resistance. Once they were so used to easily get things done, but now they are labeled all sorts of things. They start to suffer from the things that only can affect a spiritual gifted person. So, here are 10 strange things that affect spiritually gifted people. Number 1. They are strongly affected by the energies of their environment. Spiritually gifted people are not able to avoid the energies that precede them. While other people are able to ignore them, most gifted people can only help to integrate them. The energy of a room can have drastic effects on a spiritually gifted person. Number 2. Waking up between 3 o'clock and 4 a.m. Known as the witching hour, this specific time of the day is believed to be where the magical powers are at their strongest, which means it could boost magical activity or make weird things happen. Therefore, if you find yourself waking up or having difficulty sleeping between these hours, it could be a hint that you have a spiritual gift. Should this happen to you, instead of freaking out, do something that can enhance or tame your powers such as prayer or meditation. The witching hour tends to cause them a lot of problems. Spiritually gifted people always wake up in the middle of the night. Even when they were awake all day or gone to bed late, they still seem to wake up during the witching hour. It is a sign that they are much more in tune with the universe than they think. How often do you wake up in the middle of the night? Number 3. Their nightmares and dreams are so real that they appear like memories. Spiritually gifted people tend to have nightmares and quite vivid dreams, as they are much more than nightmares and dreams. You see, when we sleep, the veil is thin and things on the other side can communicate through the eyes of our mind. Those are more likely to speak to gifted people while they sleep more often than you think. They often deal with insomnia. People with spiritual gifts often have nightmares or nightmares of particular importance. These dreams are valuable to you so you can come up with ideas or take action to stop them. Sometimes dreams come as a warning or revelation of danger. Number 4. They are strong empaths. This is a common attribute of people with spiritual gifts. The ability to sense and experience the feelings of people around them even without being told. 
People with spiritual gifts are always willing to help someone to get out of bad emotions or moods. Sometimes they will get out of their way to ensure that they help the person in a bad mood until they feel better. Being empathetic is a very common trait among people with spiritual gifts. The ability to feel and experience the feelings of those around them without being told to them by anyone. People with spiritual gifts are willing to help someone through a bad feeling or mood. Sometimes they do everything to make sure it keeps a person in a bad mood until he feels better. Number 5. They are naturally drawn to animals. Animals have senses that are stronger than humans. They're able to smell emotions like anger or kindness. Because of this, they are able to sense our aura, which makes them gravitate towards someone who is spiritually gifted. They are attracted to the spiritual energy of these people and they feel protected and safe in their company. Number 6. Spiritually gifted people are approached by strangers and weird people. Most often, spiritually gifted people attract strangers who need help or healing, whether that be physical, emotional, spiritual, or mental. On the other hand, people considered as crazy, but the society may regularly come their way as well. These people aren't downright insane, in fact, they're enlightened but unable to make sense of it yet. What they need is guidance from somebody more illuminated so their subconsciousness leads them to people who are spiritually gifted, and can juggle with things they cannot even understand. Number 7. If you are spiritually gifted, you can sense weather changes. They have this natural ability to sense when a storm is coming. Even if it looks like a perfectly sunny day, they know it's still going to rain. This may be so because their gifts are connected to nature and their strong connection to the spirit of nature enables them to sense the changing of weather or seasons. Number 8. They have strong ability to smell negative energy. When they enter a room, they are like walking radars for energy. Even the slightest quanta of negativity in a room is detected by their overly sensitive radar. They know immediately if something bad happened in a room before they got there, or what people think and feel when they look at them. Their gift of sensing negativity is not there just to torture them sensing what others are almost blind to. Their gift is there to help them see where to use their skills and energy, what needs healing, and what they should avoid when they are energetically tired. Their overly sensitive nature enables them to sense positive energy much better than others. Number 9. They are always approached by animals. Spiritually gifted people are always approached by animals. Animals are attracted to them because they can sense kindness and feel the warm aura. Most gifted people are generally extremely positive and endowed with deeply empathetic personalities. Number 10. They get submerged quite easily. Gifted people are always overwhelmed. They tend to absorb more energy from others than they should. And this prepares them for a lot of grief and stress. This is something that those who are aware of their gifts can work on, but without knowing how to restrain themselves in this kind of situation is almost impossible. So Star Seeds, what exactly can you do about mastering your gifts as a spiritually gifted person? Remember to avoid negative thinking. Negative thinking that fuels your negative self-image, and that also comes from having a negative self-image. Negative thinking promotes a negative self-talk and a lot of overthinking. Constantly doubting yourself and your actions. Perhaps you were expecting a list of various gifts you could have. But changes are you already know this. Not a intellectual level but your heart just knows it. What is stopping you from living in your truth are all the conditioning you have developed over the years. It's like a layer of mud covering up a pearl. Your job as a spiritually gifted person is the actually unlearning of all your conditionings, so you can realign yourself with who you really are. This is actually your real gift. How and what to do is something that may vary from person to person year to year. Because your personal interest may also vary from year to year, or day to day. So, the two things you can do right now today is first of all to become aware of all your bad habits that is no longer serving you. The second solution to start feeling more empowered is to first do the things you don't feel like doing so you can start to appreciate more the joys and pleasures of life. Doing so will make you feel more grounded, connected, satisfied, and fulfilled. Isn't that something we all want? If these things apply to you, then it may be time for you to do some soul searching to figure things out for yourself. You are on your way to bigger and better things. I wish you all more abundance and prosperity. Peace, love and life.